We're here today to launch the new, new town centre team, which is a collaboration between the council and the police and other partners. And it's about uh, improving the, uh, the offer that we have to the town centre and to the communities and businesses that are here. Um, so that if there are any issues that come up, there's a much more joined up and uh, faster response to those issues. Uh, we've been working with the police and other partners for a long time, particularly through the One Swindon project, uh, and this is just another demonstration of, um, of how the One Swindon partnership works in practice. It's just bringing work that we already do together into one location, and uh, it just makes coordination and uh, working together much easier when people are in the same building. So my neighbourhood officers and the, uh, the, some, some of the parking officers, some of the housing officers, will all be based in this one building. They can hop desk, they can work together in the same location, and it just means that we can provide a better service. Working together like this, we can uh, share information much more easily, uh, and we can, I think, uh, solve problems much more quickly than we can by having to send emails, write to different departments, wait for a reply, etc. So, face to face, over the desk, much easier. It's absolutely brilliant for the town centre to have the local constabulary now in a hub right in the heart of the town centre. It's just going to enhance the already terrific relationships we have um, and build on them in for the future. The street team for Inswind and work extremely hard on a daily basis um, and obviously the relationships with the local police um, are very very strong um, I think again this is going to have more of a visible presence on the streets um, it, for the safe uh, safety of, of our shoppers. Dealing with people's problems uh, dealing with issues that affect our communities but dealing with them as one and so rather than have barriers and have to go to different offices, people can see officers here, officers can speak to each other uh, across, across housing, across revenue and benefits, across things that really matter to people's lives and lead to real criminality in the end. This building has got lots of space for people to work together and we just have to break down those silos because at the end of the day, local policing is about people and people have problems, they have problems with education, about health, about which lead to the police intervening. And if we can cut that off at the start, we'll be a much better place for it. They'll, they'll, they'll spend an extra hour, hour and a half day on duty because they haven't got to come in from, from Gable Cross on the edge of town. They can report for duty here, they can, they can be briefed, they can go out, they can come back for their rest periods. And we're, we're gaining time of, of all the, those officers that work in these neighbourhoods. If we can cut off some of the, uh, some of the demand for policing by, by, by relating to uh, colleagues in the council who, who deal with people's problems as well, then we'll, 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 we'll save money in the end of the day and have a much better society to live in. We, we've achieved a lot, but we need to do more. And part of that is managing it effectively. And, um, enforcing the, uh, the, the rules and making sure that people treat it with respect and, uh, uh, and having the team here together they can work on all those issues and uh, make a far more effective response. I look forward to uh, seeing this grow and become, become a hub of activity, uh, of joint working where we, we don't say it's a police job or it's a council job, we say it's, a, it's an issue for a community or for an individual or for a family and we deal with it together. And uh, thank you for those that have put this project together and uh, let's, uh, let's make it work now by working together.